August 8, 2025. A new chapter begins for Philippine maritime security. As the first rays of sunlight break over the horizon, a sense of anticipation fills the air. Today marks a turning point, not just for the Coast Guard, but for the entire nation. The Philippine Coast Guard has just received state-of-the-art maritime drones, representing a leap forward in defending the nation's vast and scattered seas. These aren't ordinary drones. They're equipped with cutting-edge sensors, high-definition cameras, and advanced navigation systems, making them some of the most sophisticated tools in the region. For years, patrolling one of the world's longest and most complex coastlines was a daunting task. Ships and patrol boats could only do so much, often stretched thin across thousands of kilometers of open water. Now these drones offer a bird's eye view, covering more sea, faster and smarter than ever before. They can scan wide areas in minutes, spot suspicious activity, and relay real-time information back to command centers on shore. Imagine dozens of watchtowers in the sky, working together day and night to keep the country safe. These drones can coordinate with each other, forming a digital shield over the archipelago's waters. Admiral Ronnie Gil Gavin, Coast Guard Commandant, calls this a game changer for national defense. He believes these drones will transform how the Philippines protects its maritime borders, making the impossible possible. The drones will aid in search and rescue missions, monitor for oil spills and illegal activities, and provide 24-7 surveillance, even in the dead of night or during storms when manned patrols are too risky. This isn't just about new equipment, it's about a nation taking bold steps to secure its future. Every launch, every mission, is a statement of resilience and hope for generations to come. The Philippines, an archipelago of over 7,000 islands, relies on the sea for its identity, its culture, and its economy. The ocean connects communities, sustains livelihoods, and shapes the nation's destiny. From humble fishing villages to busy international shipping lanes, the ocean is the nation's lifeblood. Every day, millions depend on its bounty and its safe passage. Protecting these waters is about survival, not just security. It's about ensuring that families can fish, trade, and travel without fear, and that the country's resources remain safe for future generations. These drones symbolize the country's determination to guard its maritime heritage, honoring the past while embracing the future of defense technology. With this technology, the Philippines is ready to face new challenges at sea, prepared to respond swiftly to threats, disasters, and opportunities alike. The era of advanced maritime defense has arrived, ushering in a new age of vigilance, innovation, and hope for the nation's seas. This remarkable leap in capability was made possible by a close and trusted ally, Australia, whose commitment to regional stability has never wavered. In a powerful gesture of support, Australia donated 20 advanced drones to the Philippines, strengthening their partnership at a time when tensions in the South China Sea are on the rise and the need for vigilance is greater than ever. These state-of-the-art drones are specifically designed for maritime surveillance. They come equipped with high-resolution cameras, advanced sensors, and impressive long-flight endurance making them invaluable tools for monitoring vast stretches of ocean. With these drones, the Philippines gains a crucial edge in safeguarding its exclusive economic zone, allowing for more effective detection of illegal activities and better protection of its maritime resources. But Australia's support extends far beyond just equipment. It includes vital vessel repairs, officer scholarships, and specialized training programs, all of which are part of a deepening and multifaceted partnership between the two nations. Both countries are united by a shared vision for a peaceful, stable, and rules-based Indo-Pacific, where international law is respected and upheld. By empowering the Philippines to enforce international law, Australia is not only supporting a friend, but also defending freedom of navigation and the rights of all nations in these vital waters.
this donation represents far more than just hardware. It stands as a testament to enduring friendship, mutual trust, and a shared commitment to security in the region. Together, Australia and the Philippines are prepared to face common challenges on the high seas, working side by side to ensure a safer and more secure future for all. These drones are transforming how the Coast Guard operates, offering a new dimension to maritime security and surveillance. Ships and planes are costly and limited in their operational scope. Drones, however, can launch quickly and stay aloft for hours, providing persistent and comprehensive surveillance over vast oceanic expanses. In emergencies, drones can swiftly locate distressed vessels even in the harshest storms, relaying precise coordinates to rescue teams, ensuring timely interventions. They efficiently inspect remote lighthouses, monitor busy shipping lanes, and free up larger ships for more urgent missions enhancing operational efficiency. Crucially, drones play a vital role in protecting marine life, spotting illegal fishing activities and pollution, capturing crucial evidence for prosecution and environmental protection. Their constant presence acts as a deterrent to violators and safeguards our natural treasures, ensuring the preservation of marine sanctuaries. Real-time drone feeds provide commanders with the critical edge needed to track suspicious vessels and respond swiftly to potential threats. In the tense waters of the West Philippine Sea, this enhanced situational awareness is absolutely vital for maintaining peace and security. With this technology, the Coast Guard can now act proactively, not just reactively, planning missions with precision and foresight. Drones are the new front line in maritime security, revolutionizing how we protect our seas and borders. The drone's greatest strength? Capturing undeniable evidence. In the past, reports of harassment at sea were hard to prove. Now, drones record high-resolution video of incidents as they happen. This footage supports diplomatic protests and strengthens the Philippines' case internationally. When Chinese ships use water cannons or block Filipino vessels, drones document every move. Sharing this evidence with the world exposes violations and counters false narratives. Drones also track illegal fishing, smuggling, and other maritime crimes. Their watchful eyes make it harder for lawbreakers to hide. With drones, the Philippines enforces maritime law and protects its economic interests. The truth is now visible from above. Technology is only as strong as the people behind it. Australia's support included intensive training for 30 Coast Guard members, covering flight, maintenance, and mission planning. This knowledge transfer ensures the Philippines can operate and sustain its drone fleet independently. Australia is doubling its investment in maritime cooperation, funding more training and equipment upgrades. The goal, a modern professional Coast Guard ready for today's challenges. Human development is as vital as hardware. By investing in people and partnerships, the Philippines builds a stronger foundation for security. Allies like Australia are key to this transformation. The future of maritime defense is in skilled hands. While the skies are safer, new threats lurk below. Filipino fishermen have discovered five mysterious underwater drones since 2022. These aren't for research, they're sophisticated devices, possibly for underwater warfare. Found in strategic shipping and naval areas, they suggest covert intelligence gathering. Unmanned underwater vehicles can map the seabed, monitor naval movements, or even lay mines. Unlike aerial drones, they operate undetected for long periods. Their presence is a silent intrusion into Philippine waters, these discoveries highlight the need for anti-submarine and underwater surveillance capabilities. The battlefield now extends into the deep. The Philippines must defend its seas, above and below. The recovered underwater drones were analyzed by the Philippine Navy. Forensic evidence, SIM cards and Chinese markings, pointed to China as the likely source. 
This suggests a deliberate intelligence gathering campaign inside Philippine territory. Deploying such devices is a serious violation of sovereignty and international norms. The data could give China a military edge, deepening mistrust between the nations. Underwater espionage adds a dangerous new layer to regional tensions. The conflict is now fought with technology, both seen and unseen. These drone developments are part of a larger South China Sea story. Tensions with China have escalated, with confrontations around contested shoals and aggressive tactics at sea. China's sweeping claims overlap with the Philippines' exclusive economic zone, despite international rulings. President Marcos Jr. has taken a firmer stance, leading to regular standoffs. Each encounter risks escalation, threatening regional stability. The South China Sea is vital for global trade and resources. The Philippines stands at the center, defending not just its territory, but the rules-based order. The stakes are high, but the nation is resolute. The Philippines is responding with action, not just words. Modernizing its military and deepening alliances, especially with the US and Australia, are central to its strategy. Joint exercises like Balakatan boost readiness and send a message of unity. Partnerships with Japan, Canada, and the EU strengthen a global front for maritime law. By working with allies, the Philippines shows the South China Sea is a global concern. The journey is tough, but the nation's resolve is unwavering. New drones are more than machines. They're a symbol of a rising, resilient Philippines. The Filipino spirit stands ready for whatever lies ahead.